Well, welcome to uh, the booth of Luxor Solar. I'm very pleased to see so many people. <laughs> My name is Marco and I'm responsible for the international sales with Luxor. And I would like to introduce you our new products. Uh, the first one will be the half cut cell module, which we can see at the very front. So I kindly ask you to follow me. <clears throat> so basically, I just stand here. The Ecoline half cut cell module is available in a polycrystalline and in a monocrystalline version. Um, it's 120 cut cells, um, uh, which are connected into module areas. So we have a row connection in one area, another at the bottom, and uh, the final connection is in parallel. So the advantage of cutting the cell is that you um, uh, decrease the current of the half cell, so you have half of the current, stable voltage, and connected it, uh, connecting it in parallel leads to a reduction of the resistance within the panel, and you can produce a, a panel with a higher power uh, using the same cell efficiency, which is a big advantage to reach high efficiency modules. Um, the next uh, advantage of this product is that uh, it's split it into two module areas. So you have a, uh, in uh, if you have shade, yeah, that comes from below and covers the below area. The upper part still continues to produce energy without being affected by the shadow. Uh, the poly is available in 290 watt peak and. Uh, the bono, which you can see on the other side, is uh, 330 watt peak, up to 330 watt peak. Um, the next product I would like to show you is at the very back of this, the booth. It's a low reflection panel. So this is the Ecoline Al Barino with 310 watt peak. It's a monocrystalline panel. It's a standard uh, 60 cell um, module uh, architecture. We are using a four millimeter deep textured glass. This glass has a reflection rate of 5000 calendar per square meter, which is equal to a paved street. Um, this allows to build PV installations also in areas near uh, airports or motorway, uh, motorways where it's required to have a really very low uh, reflection. Another advantage of the glass is that um, you, can, you can touch if you want, so it's a, the, deep uh, the deep structure um, leads to a yeah, let's say a, uh, uh, it's a so-called uh, light trap effect. So lights get inside the panel and it's trapped in the panel so it does not get out. This is how the low reflection basically is uh, done uh, or is uh, why it's so low reflective. But the advantage is that you can have up to 2 to 3% more uh, power generation. And the last product I would like to show you is uh, the glass glass panel. So we have to go to the middle of the booth. <clears throat> so on the right side from, from, me, from the right side, we have the Seculine glass glass, which is our high hand product. It's available in uh, um, three different versions. So you can have it in a full black version, you can have it in a transparent version, or in uh, a white version. Uh, the power is up to 300 watt peak. The very special thing of this module is that uh, it has a, a complete sealed edge, 
So it's a so-called edge sealing, which um, leads to uh, it saves the inner parts of the panel, like the cells, connections, and the material from 100% of humidity and uh, from environmental uh, influences, uh, which leads to a very long le uh, long durability and uh, a very low degradation of the panel. On the left side, we have a, also a glass glass panel, it's, but it's a, a little bit different. Uh, this is called the Ecoline glass glass. It's also available in three different versions, like black, transparent, white. Power goes up to 310 if we choose the white version right now. Transparent and black is going to be 300 mono, uh, 300 watt peak uh, limited at present moment. Uh, it's also two millimeter, two millimeter glass layer, but without an edge sealing. And uh, this panel is filling the gap. If you are looking, f if you have larger projects and you are looking for a glass glass panel, uh, because of the cost side, basically. So it's it's produced like a standard glass foil panel, like in the vacuum laminator. It has longer lamination time, of course, but basically, it's. It's something in between the glass foil and something in between the high-end glass glass panel. Um, do you have any questions about yes. the product itself? Yeah. Uh, good morning. I have one question about the differences in product warranty life. The, I have seen some is 30 years, something is about 20 or something about 15 years. So what should be the difference? and why you are doing this uh, differentiation. Um, okay, um, we have two glass glass products and two different uh, warranty conditions. Is this right? Did I get your question? Yeah, and you are asking why? Uh, yeah, something is 35, something is 30 years. Okay. As I mentioned in the very beginning, this glass glass panel is the high-end product. Uh, due to the edge sealing we have here, the product is much more durable than this one. And the degradation of this, the power degradation during the lifetime of this product is also much lower than this one. So that's why we can grant higher warranty conditions for this and 30 years of product warranty and 30 of linear performance warranty for the glass glass eco line. So that's basically the difference, the production process and the materials used and the, with the edge sealing. Okay. Previously you have uh, told us, previously you have told us when uh, some part of the panel is shaded, the other it works, yes? Is that because of serious parallel or parallel serious connectivity issue or how is it inside? I mean, yeah. Um, you were talking about the half cell module right now. Um, so you're referring your question to the half cell module. Yeah, basically it's because of the parallel connection of the two module areas. Um, the half cell module is two modules in one, basically, yeah? And they are connected in parallel, so if one is shaded, the other still continues to work. Anyone else? I have a question for the textured module. Uh, is it more uh, more dusty in cases? Uh, the sand can get in the texture of the glass. Is it a uh, with the glass with a more texture? Yeah, yeah. I okay. Yeah, basically, in fact, it's uh, recommended to clean it once a year because. Due to the structure, there might be some dirt after, because of pollution, of of dust, of uh, yeah, of environmental um, influences, basically. Yes. In dusty areas like Saudi Arabia, what do you do with cleaning these panels? The the albarino, the one that is having the, the anti glare. So you mean in uh, if sandstorm? Yeah, yeah. What do you do with cleaning? How do you clean the panel? Water. Just, wa yeah, water. No. Thank you very much for your attention. 
it's really nice a lot of, to see a lot of people here, so great, great. I wish you a, a, a nice exhibition.